Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas break. On this particular video, I would like to show you how to actually achieve that saucy drum boss by Jason Joshua, which he basically used a combination of NLS boss channel and few other plugins to get this heavy low end. So let's get into the video without taking much of your time. I'll play you guys eight with and I'll play you guys without. One thing you notice already is I'm actually using this on a two track, but when you listen to the beat, you notice that the beat has actually got a heavy low end already, but this helps it get a bit heavier and also cut through smaller speakers with few distortion that I've added in between. So let's get into the video. Let's have a listen to it with and then without. So one thing you notice is the heaviness that I actually added to the beat and also if you listen to this on a smaller speakers you notice how that actually help it cut through a bit more. So let me play show you guys what I've actually done to this particular beat. So what I've done is I've actually bossed this to boss 4 which I've named drum boss. Now I've gone ahead and used an EQ to actually low pass it to 160 so which means we're only extracting that low end i'll go ahead and actually bypass these other ones and i'll highlight what we've put here have a listen so as you can see we've obviously got the kick going on here I've also put this to actually flip the face so it doesn't interfere with the main kick. So I've now gone ahead and throw in the NLS channel, which is what he normally uses. I mean, Jason Joshua. So he uses eight in serial, but on this particular one, his saucy drum boss, I believe he uses seven and then use the Achuria Pre-73 to replace the eighth one. So I've got them in different modes. This is on spike. You've got couple on mic and couple on Nevo. So I've now got eight in serial. Let's just have a listen to what they added. I'll play it with and I'll bypass it. You obviously notice they brought about a bit clarity and a bit uh roundness to the low end as well. So let's go ahead and put in the Arturia Pre 73 and have a listen. So we're getting somewhere now. I've also gone ahead and thrown in an EQ actually filtering a bit more of the low end with what the saturations have uh, added to us and a bit of a bump here to actually push that kick a bit further and i've also opened it up at the uh, top end so it cuts through smaller speakers let's have a listen to that eq So I've also gone ahead and put the hour base to actually help uh, that low end cut through a bit more and hold it in place. So the last on this chain is actually a free plugin A1 stereo control. So basically I'm using this to actually mono everything below uh, 75 hertz. So from 75 hertz below, it's been kept in mono, which is why it says safe bass. And then I've also opened it up a bit, stereo spread in that kick, but just keeping everything below 75 still mono, not to be spread out. So let's have a listen to that. So let's have a listen to where we started.
And now here's where we are. At. Obviously, the volume is slightly more, but if you listen closely, you notice that the roundness is also uh, noticeable. So now I've actually added a touch of my trick that I normally use on bass when I want a bass to cut through more on smaller speakers. So what I've done is I've actually brushed a bit of that to bus 5. And all I've done is just named it distortion and throw in the UAD raw, which is a distortion plugin. So any distortion plugin can actually do this. Let's have a listen to just the distortion. As you can hear how that's helping the growl come out more, but I've lowered it in the mix by minus 14%. So it's only a tiny bit that's been fed through these uh, kick drums. So let's have a listen to both. So as you can hear with that in, it actually helped our ear to actually hear this clearly, which is was actually doing on the whole uh, mix. So now let's listen to everything in context. So as you can see on this video, this is how you can utilize the Saucy Drum Boss by Jason Joshua. And you can also utilize it on not just on your drums, but on other elements. If you feel like it needs it, like on this particular two track beat, I was able to still enhance it, even though I've not got a drum separately as a stem, but it still does uh, what it's supposed to do. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any question about this video or anything mixing and mastering, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.